these are not absolute groups. What are these groups primarily based on, as I have them up there? What are they primarily based on? What? Looking around the room, what would they be based on? What? What, is, what, is, what would classify a person as an African American? Uh, what? Skin color. I don't know their ancestry. They might have Japanese before their ancestry someplace. So, these are based on skin color. Now, as airplane flight became very prominent, what happened to these groups? Mixed. Uh, more and more mixing of these groups. So it's, it's kind of difficult sometimes to say, put absolutes on them. Now, and some others, maybe a little bit more. The Native American had less mixing than some of the others. Now, if I were to do this in, let's say, 1900, it would probably be much more isolated. We probably wouldn't have hardly any of these, right? Or very, very few. The African American would be, have been more defined, right? Because of all sorts of, of non-travel, et cetera, even laws forbidding African American and uh, other European American marriages and so forth. The Native American would have been pretty defined. But since then, we have what? So we have to take these with just a little bit of generality, not overwhelming. What about the blood type percentages? Are they, they're not equal. We have four basic blood types, A, B, AB, and O. Are they equal in a population? Depends on what population you're talking about. The RH is not equal. In the European population, European American population, now right away, that, that kind of, basically, what's another word for this? White. Well, Caucasian. Caucasian, white, yes. Okay. And of course, we're back to the same thing. We don't know that person's background. Maybe they have Japanese, Korean, maybe African-American, whatever, people in their background. So, but we look at this, and what are the two prominent blood types in that population? A and O. O being a little more prominent, 45%, 40%. B is only 11, AB is only 4%. So. If we gathered up 100 Caucasian people at this school, only four of them would be type AB on average. And that's not an absolute. We might get three for this one written, five for the next one, or something like that. Now, how about RH? 85% of any of them would be what? RH. 85% of the A's, the B's, the AB's, and the O's are 85% of that racial ethnic group. Racial and ethnic are not the same. I, I, I kind of said those as if they're the same thing. Of course, they're not the same thing at all. But let's, let's just go with racial here. African American. What? Oh. Look at the A and the B. Pretty much the same. Four, pretty much the same. And look here. Ninety-five percent of them are, are RH positive. Now, <clears throat> if we go back to even the European Americans, why are they all? Why aren't they all the same? Nobody has an answer for that has a good answer of why blood types differ. How long have these things been around? We suspect, at least in this population, that they've been around 
for these several million years. Do other animals show blood types? Yes. They don't match humans, but they show, your dog shows blood types. But they're different than this. I had a diagram, it would look, it would look somewhat the idea, but it's not A, B, A, B, O. And then we got a Korean American, look at, look at these groups. What, what's kind of odd there? Well, not odd in the sense of something wrong, but they're all what? They are all R, A, B, O. And if you look here, what? More even distribution, at least among those three groups. Look at the Native Americans. What do we got? Almost 80% are, are what? Oh, only 1% AB. Nobody has a good reason for these discrepancies, well, they're not discrepancies, for these variations. Does it, things tend to exist and exist largely in populations if they have some sort of advantage. When these things first developed, way back when, millions of years ago, was there an advantage? Well, probably so. Nobody's quite figured out what the advantage was. Okay, so we want to do blood types for each person. Plenty of time. Right? Your blood types for each person, very easy. All you need is three drops of blood. All right? All of you can spare three drops of blood. Okay? Even, even if you're anemic, you can still spare three drops. All right, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna give you some cards. Very, very easy to do. All right, here's how we're gonna do this. And now this is so simple, but if you mess it up and not pay attention, you got it completely wrong. Does this ever happen where people are given the wrong blood type? There was an article, I have it somewhere. Lady in an operation in Northern Virginia. It's kind of routine operation, but she didn't need a, a blood transfusion. And she was given, let's say she was A, and she was given B blood, and she died right there on the operating table. Double match. The antibodies for A clumped with the A, and the antibodies for B made the B cells clump, and that was the end of the earth. It could be that, it could be that fast. Okay, so I have this card. Has this card and it says anti A serum. Now, what do we mean by serum? Is serum the same as plasma? No. Okay. If you take plasma, Plasma is the fluid part of the blood. And you take all the clotting elements out of it, you now have serum. Okay? You don't need to get into how you do that. So serum is not the same as plasma. Serum is plasma with the clotting elements removed. So you're gonna have this card. And it looks like this. You're going to put a drop of serum, anti-A serum, a drop of anti-B serum, and a drop of R8. Now, R8 
case is also called D. We can go by the letters of the alphabet. The third drop is zero. Pretty simple so far. Now, suppose you put this here and this here, and thinking that you had the anti-A here, right, that simple thing will mess it up completely. So you've got to make sure you put it in the right place. Now you put your drop of blood. Now you do what? Now you take a toothpick. I think I left the toothpicks in here, but I'll get them. You take a toothpick and you basically mix these together. Okay, just take the toothpick and mix them together. Now you don't want, when you put it here, well, if you have them separate here, there shouldn't be any cross contamination with anything else. But what are you looking for? You're looking for clotting. Coagulation. And what it's going to look like if it happens, it's going to look like this. It's going to be a blob if it happens. Okay, now it doesn't have to happen because what? Because if there's no antigens in that blood, it's not going to do that. And here, you're looking for the same thing, you're looking for the blobby will be a good block. Okay. Over here, it'll be generally quite a little bit less than the block. Quite often, it looks like this. Now, where it happens is not relevant. But quite often, if you move it a little bit, you'll see these little particle-like things like, like that. Sometimes it is a little more of a block, but all right, so that's it. We put the results up on the board and you use them for homework. The percentage of A's and B's and et cetera, et cetera. Now, let's just go through a couple of here. Suppose we get agglutination. Suppose we get agglutination and say yes. Yes. All right, what type of blood is this? So, oh well, so I'll back off. I was saying there's something. I'm sorry. All right, and, and let's let's go over here and say yes. All right, so that's what? What kind of blood is that? O positive. Yes. That is AB. That's AB negative, right? Doesn't have the A, doesn't have the B, and it doesn't have the R A. Doesn't that make it A B negative? Right? Some people are looking like they didn't follow. So when you say yes, is that mean yes, it's clot? Yes, or yes, it's yes, clot. yes, yes, it's clot. It's okay. best is what? Agglutinating. Right? Yes means that that antigen is present. Okay, that's. This is not clotting, it's agglutination. Those are two completely separate things. Right, let's do one so more. But doesn't glutamate all over F A B positive? Okay, what's this? What was it? What's that? If it glutamates yes, all over it is O positive. But if it doesn't. Yes, blank, yes. A positive? A positive, right? B is not there. Give us like a minute, I'm not following what's going on here. Right, follow what's happening? Sorry. Okay. So, what you need, now I put these in water here. Uh, this is the, this is the serum with the, with the anti-A, anti-B, or anti-RA. This happens to be, this is anti-B. I put them in water just to make them warm them up. So, uh, dry them off, obviously, we can use So here, if you want, if you want one, one, yeah, one per table should be good. 